Okay, so for part two here, we're given an exponential equation. Okay, um, you've got three to the power of two y and three to the power of y plus x. Exponential equation means the the uh, the variable, the unknown, is in the exponent, in the power, in the index. That's what it means. So we've got to find what y is that satisfies this equation. So in order to do this, what we're going to do is we're going to try to rewrite these in a way which is um, and, you know, going to make it easy for us. Okay, so what we can see here is we got 3 to the power of y. Okay, if I can express everything as 3 to the power of y, that will help us. Okay, we're going to use the laws of indices that we know. So, for example, 3 to the power of 2y would be the same as 3 to the power of 2 times 3 to the power of y. Okay? Uh, no, it won't be, actually. That's wrong. That's another misconception. Remember, 3 to the power of 2y, this is a result of a uh, product of two things. So it's the same as 3 to the power of 2 to the power of y, or 3 to the power of y to the power of 2. Okay? That's what it's a, it's a result of. Okay? You either had 3 squared to the power of y, or 3 to the power of y to the power of 2. Okay, because you have to multiply the powers. Now, what I want is, I want to have 3 to the power of y. I don't want to have 3 to the power of 2. I want to have 3 to the power of y. Okay, this will give me 9 to the power of y, which I want to have the same base, so I can help uh, solve this part of the equation as well. You know, I want to have everything with 3 to the power of y, then I can move ahead. So this will be 3 to the power of y squared. 3 to the power of y all squared. Okay, you write that a bit neater. So here we have 3 to the power of y, all squared. Plus, now this is where you have 3 to the power of y plus 1. Now what was the origin of this? Well, it must have been 3 to the power of y times 3 to the power of 1, because you added the powers. Okay, you added the powers, the same base. So I can rewrite this as 3 times 3 to the power of y. Okay, 3 to the power of 1 times 3 to the power of y. Same thing. And that's equal to 10. Now, what I can do here is I can think of this 3 to the power of y to the power of y, to make life uh, look less complicated for ourselves, so let me call that something, for example, like x. You can call it a different letter. You can't call it y, of course. Okay, so 3 to the power of y is equal to x. So I can say that this is like x squared plus 3 times x equals 10. Now we have what seems like a quadratic equation. Okay, you've got x squared, x, number term. Let's bring everything to one side. x squared plus 3x minus 10 equals 0. Okay, now, to solve this equation, we can factorize, which you should know how to do. Okay, uh, we can see that um, two numbers multiply to give you 10, product is my negative 10, and the sum is positive 3. Okay, that, of, of course, is going to be 5 and 2. 5 and 2, you're going to have a positive um, sum, so it's going to be 5 times minus 6, so it'll be x plus 5 and x minus 2 equals 0. So we can say x is equal to negative 5. Either x plus 5 is 0, x minus 2 is 0. So x is equal to positive 2. So now we can say, all right, we, we called x, we called 3 to the power of y equals x and y for, to make it look simpler for us. Now we can say, okay, we know that x is the same as 3 to the power of y. So we can say this is 3 to the power of y is equal to negative 5. And we can have this is 3 to the power of y is equal to 2. Now, 3 to the power of y equals negative 5, there will be no solution for this, okay? This, an exponential equation will never, okay, ever hit 0, okay? And this axis here. And 3 to the power of y equals 2, now we can use the laws of logarithms. We can take here the log of both sides, okay? This is where we can take the log of both sides. We can say the log, okay, we can call it to the base anything we want, right? I can say log to the base 10, log to the base 3, whatever log I want, okay? Most people would say log to the base 10 because in your calculator, the log button, the one that says log by itself, means log to the base 10. So I, I would say here, I could call it log to the base 10 if I want. I could call it log to the base 3, okay? Each of them will be all right. Let me, try, let me show you with log to the base 3 if you want first, okay? Um, so you've got log to the base 3 of 3y equals log to the base 3 of 2, then we're going to use the power rule. Remember, y, the power, can multiply this. So y times, okay, log 
to the base 3 of 3 is equal to log to the base 3 of 2. And remember, log to the base 3 of 3 is 1. Log to the base of something of itself is 1. So y will be log to the base 3 of 2. So that's your answer. That's one way of expressing your answer. The, the question says, find in terms of logarithms. It doesn't say which log, so you can leave it in log to the base 3 of 2. Or let me show you um, an alternative way. You could make log to the base 10 if you want. So from this stage, you could carry on. You could say, OK, let's take log to the base 10. So you just have to write log. Log 3 to the power of y equals log 2. Remember, when it's log to the base 10, you don't have to write the 10 there. So you can say y times log to the base th uh, 10 of 3 equals log to the base 10 of 2. So you can say y is equal to log to the base 10 of 2 divided by log to the base 10 of 3. Okay, you could write your answer like that, and that's fine. Okay, it doesn't give you any particular form to write it in. It says find the exact value of y in terms of logarithms. So you don't have to now continue and find what these are equal to. Okay, some questions would ask you to continue and find what those are equal to. But I'm going to show you that they are actually equal to the same thing. All right, so you can be um, you know, sure that you can express it in any way that you wish. So I'm going to put log to the base 3 of 2. Now in your calculators here, you have got this button here. That's log. That's the base, and then go to there and press 2. You see what we get? We get 0 0.6309. So I'll just write it here. There's not an answer. I'm just writing it over here somewhere just so we can see. 0 0.6309. Okay. And then if I show you, how, if I do log 2 over log 3. So log, you see this button which has, let me try and find it in this calculator. Okay. Um, that's Lin. Do they not just have the log button in this calculator? Let's have a look. It doesn't look like they have it here. Yeah, okay. In the older calculators, they would have log, just a log button, meaning log to the base 10. And this is a new calculator for me that I've downloaded. So obviously, it doesn't seem that they have it. So we can just put, all right, log to the base 10, okay, of uh, 2, okay, and then divided by log to the base 10. Of three, which gives you the same answer, 0 0.6309. So it means the same thing. Okay, let me see. Let me just check something. If I just press this log, I don't put anything there. Will it assume that it's uh, 10 as well? 2 divided by log, if I leave that blank, 3. No, you have to put the 10 there. Okay, so um, it seems like in these new calculators here, they you've got the one with the base. so. Uh, it doesn't just mean, they don't have just a log button. But if you see log without anything, in any question, it means log to the base 10. Okay, so that's something I've learned about this new calculator myself today. All right, so that's the answer then. The answer can be written, written in any of these forms. I think this form looks neater. Okay, so why did I choose log to the base 3? Because I knew that the, this will disappear. Okay, because it was 3 to the power of y equals 2. So if I play log to the base 3, this will become y equals log to the base 3 of 2. Okay, either of those answers are perfectly acceptable though. Okay, so thank you for paying attention and listening and watching. And um, I'll see you in the next video.